Hey everybody, Jen here of Gen X Website Design and Strategy. If you know anything about me, you know that I am all about making it as easy as possible to help website visitors find what they're looking for, do what you want them to do, and provide a ton of free value to build trust with your brand. If you provide too many options to your visitors, you'll cause decision fatigue and defeat the whole purpose. I have another post entitled, Optimize Your Website's Navigation Menu, improve engagement that talks more about this. That said, there are many instances where including a search bar above navigation can come in handy in guiding your website visitors to the thing that they are looking for while also bringing them to exactly where you want them to be. Let's dive into this a bit more. Let me repeat something I've said before that bears repeating. Don't clutter up your navigation menu. If adding a search bar above navigation can be accomplished without cluttering up navigation options, while at the same time helping guide visitors to where both you and your visitor want to be, then this would be the time to use it. Here are a few examples that I can think of where this would work well, but maybe you have some ideas of your own and I'd love to hear them. So please feel free to drop them in the comments. If you have a blog, if you have a recipe collection, if you have an e-commerce website, if you host events and you have a robust events calendar, if you host photo albums on your website for your clients, those are just a few examples, but I bet you have more. So here we are on my dummy website, and it doesn't really matter what page you're on when you do this because you're going to be adding a footer, and then we're going to add a code snippet to move that footer section up to the top of every page. So the first thing you're going to do is select Edit. Then you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom, select Edit Footer, and then you're going to add a section to the top of the footer. Add a blank section. Edit the section and toggle off fill screen. Choose the color theme that you want for this section. Now we're going to add a block, add a search block, and we'll just position it here for now. Edit the search bar by identifying which area of your website you want to be searchable. You might search your blog, but you also might choose calendar, shop, you get it. Whatever's on your website is going to pop up right here. Decide what you want the search parameters to be, unless you want to search your entire website, in which case you just won't check off this circle. I'm going to select blog, then come over to display and decide whether you want the dark theme or the light theme. And I'm going to go with dark. You are also going to want to vertically align this. Now we're going to add a text block and you might put something in here that says something like search the blog. Let's align this to the right. And let's align this vertically as well. I'm just going to click and drag this up over here. This is roughly where I want this positioned appearing above my navigation menu. Now I'm just going to tighten this up by clicking and dragging. And I feel like I need a little more space. So I'm going to select both of these. Arrow down, arrow back up. See how I just did that? Now I want to make sure it looks good on mobile too. So I'm just going to move these things around a little bit. Now you'll notice that when we're in the mobile view, we have to realign this vertically, both of these, and then drag this up a little bit, and that looks pretty good. Okay, great. I'm going to save and exit. Now I want to add the code snippet. So I'm going over to website. I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom and select website tools, custom CSS. Now all you have to do is copy the code snippet out of the blog post linked to this video and paste it right here, and you can see how that just disappeared. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to go all the way to the top and I'm going to expand this and you can see how it's cut off. So what you'll need to do is adjust this value for the top margin right here. Right now it's four. I'm going to try six. Save and see what that looks like. Not quite enough. Let's try eight. Well, that looks better already. There we go. Perfect. Awesome. Now I am going to just check it out on mobile and I think that looks just great. Now, what if you want to edit this even further? Like maybe you don't like this color. Very easy. Just select edit. You're going to scroll to the bottom and select edit footer. And then you're going to scroll all the way back to the top and make your changes here. I am noticing that I can't edit the color theme up here. So I'm going to have to do that differently. I'm going to select this entire code snippet and I'm going to select command 
X or cut. I'm going to cut it. Then I'm going to go back in, select edit footer, edit section, colors, and choose a different color. Save, exit. And since I've cut that code, I can paste it right back in. There it is. I like it. That's it. I hope you guys found that helpful. And if you did, please give it a like. Maybe share this with someone who you think could use some help with it. Consider subscribing to my channel. But most of all, have fun with your Squarespace website.